In this problem, we are asked to sketch the graph of y equal to negative 2 sine of 1 half x minus pi over 4. We will first investigate the amplitude, which is the absolute value of a, or the absolute value of a negative 2, which is 2. This gives us a range from minus 2 to 2. That negative sign will just mean um, that the graph has been reflected across the x-axis. We are now ready to find the period, and we know that since our b is between 0 and 1, that our period of 2 pi is being stretched by a factor of 2. Or another way we could find it is 2 pi over b, or 2 pi divided by 1 half, gives us 4 pi. Finally, we can look at our phase shift, which is given to us by the opposite of c over b, or the opposite of a negative pi over 4, all over b, which is 1 half. If we invert and multiply, we would have pi over 4 times 2, which would give us pi over 2. We can verify the period in the phase shift by finding our one cycle interval, or where 1 half x minus pi over 4 goes between 0 and 2 pi. If we add pi over 4 to both sides, 2 pi is 8 pi over 4, so that gives us 9 pi over 4. Multiply both sides by 2, we get pi over 2, to 9 pi over 2, which is indeed 4 pi units starting at a phase shift of a positive pi over 2. We are now ready to sketch the graph. To sketch the graph, we have labeled our axes. We know at the start and the stop of our interval, sine takes on the average value. In this case, the average value is 0, giving us our x-intercepts. We also know that halfway between that interval, we will have our other average value, or our x-intercept. Because a is negative, we know that the graph of our sine function of y equal to 2 sine of 1 half x plus pi over 4 was reflected across the x-axis. Therefore, be halfway between pi over 2 and 5 pi over 2, sine is reaching its negative or negative 2 are its minimum value. Halfway between 5 pi over 2 and 9 pi over 2 or 7 pi over 2, it's reaching its maximum value. We are now ready to sketch one full cycle of our function.